hi, um, Laurie, um, and uh, this is my GBC Mini Golf. Uh, so the, um, uh, I guess it's difficult to describe each model individually, but um, I sort of took a lot of inspiration from actual mini golf courses. Okay. So the first course is always the easiest on a golf course. So it's just the, the single part, no obstacles. Um, uh, and then we get into some of the themes. Um, this originally was a rock, uh, but I've kind of put a little Easter Island head on it mm -hmm. just to sort of uh, give it a bit more novelty. And at, at night, the eyes sort of light up a bit as well. Um, and then we're in sort of in the first of the thirds. Like every three, I've kind of tried to do something a little bit more elaborate. Um, so this one's a pyramid theme and, and the balls, there's a little bit of randomness. The balls can sort of, you can miss and they can go down the water course or they can go, or they can go straight through into the pyramid. Um, then we're on to um, uh, number four, um, and it kind of I felt like I had to have an alligator somewhere, um, <laughs> uh, or well, crocodile, depending on where you're playing golf. But um, it's um, yeah, it was an essential feature of the golf course, and I think for that particular U shape, I just I think every time I've ever played mini golf, there's always been something like that where you've got to hit the ball around the corner. There's just these like standard kind of uh, hole designs for mini golf, isn't yeah, there? That yeah. you kind of find everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty much. And it was, I mean, one of the most challenging thing was thinking of the courses and getting them to lay out in this small space. Because I wanted, a, I did want a lot of modules, but I also didn't want to take up like 10 foot of table to do it. So, um, um, yeah, definitely took inspiration from sort of uh, looking at mini golf courses online. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Uh, yeah, so then we're just into a, a basic rock obstacle. Um, a couple of different ways the balls can go down. Um, you may have noticed already, everything is sort of par one. Um, and that is very much uh, to sort of keep with GBC. Uh, if it took more than one hit, then I'd be running into trouble. Um, You'd have some other GBC members not so happy with the <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. It's um, keeping the balls moving is the uh, is essential. <laughs> um, and yeah, then onto the Tower Bridge. And I can't entirely remember why I, want, I decided to do the Tower Bridge. Um, I do actually have the big model at home. Okay. Um, and that probably might have helped with it. That, um, and it was, I, I, it was kind of, it felt, it was surprisingly easy to design. I didn't expect it to be. I think I started with these uprights being the kind of two by two round. Um, and then the rest kind of came together. And um, uh, surprisingly, I couldn't actually take many parts off the big bridge. <laughs> uh, I could take a bit of the blue, um, but most of the other parts I sort of had to, um, to get in like the windows these are very old lego so yeah. i actually i couldn't find enough in america i had to order them from europe to get enough for the actual tower bridge um cool uh and then oh then we, oh, i didn't really point out the minifigures so I, my kids like to put minifigures on things um they don't miss they, they don't necessarily like it so much when they realize they can't take them off again but um yeah so i had i think one son picked the Frankenstein and then we had the the mummy on the pyramid and then I think I finally just I put something on the last one so to complete the set <laughs> you know, nice fun details like that yeah yeah I, I I think it's from the first show I went to and I and I'd done another module and I had figures all over it and um, it was just it was just really refreshing like because kids would see a figure and, and you just sort of out of the side you'd hear them shout oh there's that figure and there's that figure so it's I like those little details. There's so much in this sh in this show where there's lots of little details. Um, all right, uh, and then we're on to uh, the, the 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 curve, the curve hit, um, which goes under the bridge. Um, uh, yeah, that was interesting. I actually look. I, I had to sort of look around a bit to for techniques to build the curve. Um, but it was another one of those shapes where I think I felt like I, I remember that in every mini golf I play. There's a big curve somewhere. So, all right, we'll have a big curve. Not to mention it even goes under another uh, under bridge another there, which model, is yeah. even more impressive. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the bridge I've, was felt like another staple. Like, I had to have a bridge somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, and we'll add a few flames in to sort of make it a bit more exciting and so mm -hmm. forth. Um, yeah, as we'll see, the bridge is also par one. Um, there's a little, little return. Um, when I first built it, I returned back into the module, the, the number eight again. Um, but it didn't meet GBC standard because that module just filled up with balls. So now it returns to the sort of the last module. Um, which is, where are we? Onto the windmill. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know, I guess it just felt I I appropriate to end with a windmill. Yeah. Um, that final last obstacle that uh, always, always is a challenge. And I'm not sure we'll actually, they do go through the centre, but um, I haven't seen so much. It's, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. It's 
for a par one course, they're still surprisingly <laughs> difficult to get to get the ball through some of the obstacles that exist. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, this is such an amazing layout of modules here. So uh, talk about kind of the design element because you've got sort of under here the the brown uh, kind of their own separate module, and then the the, yeah. the green parts are almost built on top of that. So how did that come together? Um, so I, I originally started with the the base, the mechanism, and the putter. So uh, when when I first built it, I built up this base, and it's it's very similar to another module I have. And then I kind of worked out how to get the, the putting bit working. And I then built about the first like three tiles of the course. And that's all I had. I had a putter that would putt and it was like, oh yeah, this is going to putt really well. And then I actually sat down and designed it digitally. Um, and I, I was a bit, a bit of paper sketching because it was, all right, how can I get all of these to lay out and not take up, like I'll, I'll use, I'll definitely take use of the table width. Um, I don't want it to be too long. Um, and yeah, and then ended up designing it all digitally, um, uh, not the least of which is to get the part counts, because having to order all the green tiles and the wide and so forth. Um, yeah, and then ordered a bunch of parts and built it all up and then kind of, then there was a bit more experimentation getting it all to work properly. So it's a little bit different from my original digital designs. <laughs> um, Certainly some things was like, oh, the balls just aren't going. I think I sh some things got lengthened, some things got shortened. Um, there is actually a bit of meaning in the brown, the brown because the theory is this is all underground. Okay. Yeah, so there, that's why we have the brown modules. Um, although it's not immediately obvious, like I do put the clear, I like putting the clear in these modules so people can see the mechanisms. Um, and there's a few lights here and there to sort of, um, well, when I was running it at night, um, um, the lights, you can see the mechanisms. You can yeah. see this sort of piston mechanism running. Um, and that was kind of a big part of when I, yeah, I, I went, when I did sort of get into GBC, uh, what I, I really like mechanism, um, but I also like the kind of the beauty in GBC. Like some, when people sort of really do really beautiful modules, that kind of really, really, I, I like that kind of thing, so. Yeah, well, I think you've certainly captured a lot of that in this layout. So, so when you got to the show, how long did it take you to, to set up all these modules here? Um, well, um, if they'd survived transport, it would have taken me about an, less than an hour because uh, they're all boxed very well. Uh, unfortunately, like the tower bridge was um, was back to its Lego kit form, <laughs> and so it took me about three hours to get it all set up okay. uh, when I first got here. Uh, but uh, yeah, if if they don't damage, most of it travels fairly well, um, uh, and it would only really take me about an hour to get it up. If I didn't have to rebuild sections of it, um, yeah, I've, um, I do have. I actually made cardboard boxes for all of them to pack them really tightly. They fit into t all of this fits into two cardboard boxes. Okay. Um, and it's um, yeah, because well, so I can ship them to conferences and, and so forth. It works well. So, do you have any more kind of themed uh, GBC layouts planned for the future? I probably should. I've only got, I've kind of got individual stuff that I'm thinking of for for kind of next year with some of the themes. Um, I've got well, I've got I've actually got a water park one that it just I just hadn't tested enough to bring to a conference. Um, but I'm looking forward to taking that to the next big one I'm at. Um, yeah, it has a very similar fluid motion to the to the roller coaster okay. that that that's in this layout today, but um, not not so much track obviously. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I don't have anything this grand in my mind um, at this stage. All these, all these new ideas popping up, so you yeah. never know what will happen next. Yeah, I've, I've definitely hit the barrier now of uh, the, the cash is running a bit thin <laughs> these days, so it's, I, have, I once again have more ideas than, than money to execute. So <laughs> Common problem here in the LEGO community. <laughs> yes, common problem, and it's, um, I think GBC exacerbates it because every module has a motor and <laughs> there's a few extra dollars there. And, it's always, it's always wearing out too. It's you know. Well, this, this layout turned out really beautiful, so I really appreciate you bringing it to the show here and, and telling me about it. So appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you.